everyone. It's me, Will. We're going to play some Mario Maker. Uh, Ian is also here doing dishes in the background. Uh, all right. Someone else is doing it. But Ian is here. Ian, if you'd like to say hello. I, hello. I, uh, hello, Creep. Goodbye. Glad you're here. We just turn desktop audio on. Oh, sorry. We on. Um, and let me switch over to some a game a play. My OBS uh was being the biggest jerk in the world this week. So I mm -hmm. spend all morning to fix it. It was a pain at the rear end. For Mario Maker, I've forgotten everything since we last played, so um, I'm not going to do well today. That sounds about right. I mean, that's kind of par for the course. Par for the Mario course. It's a me, the Mario. Creep, you got two levels you made for t for this stream. Which one would you want? Oh, which one would you want? For Acorn level or a frog suit? Um, I mean, give both to us now. Mm -hmm. um, play them. We uh, shall. We shall. You want? You know, we gotta start off with this uh, older ones. Yeah, and and I'll I'll work on getting getting stuff in the list as we need to. Cool. So yeah, just throw those in, creep. We're gonna play through some of these older ones quick. You know what I forgot to open, which I forget every single time. This is the countdown without fail. Um, I keep thinking it's a day ahead of what it is. I kept thinking today was Sunday. It is Sunday. Oh, it's Sunday. Uh, are you sure? Fortunately, it's not Sunday. Because then it would be Mother's Day. Hi. Hi, Mother's. Today is my day. I was thinking of a Got person him. named Mother. <laughs> okay. I was just playing a random level to test. Because uh, I know Animal Crossing servers were down today. Uh, oh, on really? Twitter. So I think people um, had to go outdoors or something. I play Dead Space 1 all day. And I'm like almost done with it. It's a pretty short game. Wait, you played the entire the entire game? No, I, I played like six hours. But it's only like a seven, eight hour. Oh, okay, gotcha. But it does have some great... Uh, I mean, it has New Game Plus. But, like... I don't know... Just new game plus. I was gonna say it's a good new game plus, but it's not. It's just regular new game plus. But the game's good, so the new game plus is also therefore good. Um, but I'm not gonna do. Good. I think I'm gonna move on to two, which I started forever ago and too scared. Hi, I'm Will, and I'm too scared. Too that is scared. Oh. Did I type this first one wrong? Oh, that's O R Q. Uh, did you already check the streams, or do I have to do that? Uh, do you mind doing that? I was trying to deal with that. Oh, this is uh, new. Hmm? Last time. Yeah, there's the top of the list up here. We'll just. No, that's. Fine. Continue with that one. No, oh, I was happy for that. Um, yeah. Uh, did you start the timer? This is a, one of the points. Oh, you think you can beat it in that time? Oh, yeah. Mixer is up. Mixer's up now? 
Yeah, doing like a cannot connect. Come on. Not paying attention. I'm looking pretty good. Oh, you did join just in time. Thanks, Mew. Mew, too. Oh, I held it there. I gotta get my sea legs back. Oh. Um, I'm trying to think. What, uh, I also played a bunch of. I played a bunch of uh, Snow Runner today, just kind of driving around the maps, unlocking stuff. Uh, the progression's weird. Like it's not linear, or like very in your face. So you kind of just like, kind of realize you just do whatever you. What I've been doing. Uh -huh. It's fun. I like just like driving around and getting yourself in situations where you have to figure out what you do. Or like, hey, I'm stuck in this yeah. mud. And it's nice because if you're really stuck, you just cover to the garage. And... Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I'm still playing uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Origins. I saw that. How is it? Um... It's, you know, it's... We got time. I've got some thoughts. It's just, it's like a solid seven. Maybe like a low eight. Yeah, but I mean that in a good way. I think it's, I think I'm, it's just really what I need right now. Just something to just kind of veg out to. And it definitely does a good job of being like an open world where you always have all sorts of different things in every direction you could do. Not too much, but not too little. So it's, you know, you do that thing where you're just like, oh, I've got this main quest. Maybe I'll head towards that. Oh, let me hit this bird icon here. Oh, you know what? Let me just grab this side quest. Oh, you know what? I I, I need, you know, crocodile skins for my, to, for my upgrade. So let me just grab those. And it makes it easy to do that. And I really appreciate that. Um, the story is pretty good. It actually, I hit a really good story beat today. That was like, heck yeah. Really well done. Um... But I, I feel like the combat's not that compelling. The locations, in terms of how... You don't really learn the locations. You know what I mean? Like, if you think about, like, Liberty yeah. City from Grand Theft Auto 3 or 4, you learn the location, you learn the ins and outs, and the missions and the side missions do a good job of, like, helping you explore that space. And I don't think this game does that very well. Um, but it's yeah. it's good. It's It's what I need right now. They were talking about how, well, how Valhalla isn't the biggest Assassin's Creed game, and I was kind of happy because I played, I want to say I played eight hours of Origins. It was not that far, um, but it's still, like, it felt huge. I'm glad yeah. that I won't have to, it'll be more of like a smaller size tailor. But it's weird because, but the thing is, Origins... Origins looks like it's big, but I don't honestly think it's that big because each location, like each city, really only has like two or three side quests. So it's really not even that big. The map looks, it, it definitely looks big at the start. Um, but they do good, a good job of keeping it contained. So, but I know Odyssey did not. I know people were saying Odyssey is like twice as big and twice as long as Origins. So I think Valhalla probably will be, it probably will be Origins length. Um, but I think it's, I think it's pretty, what level, what, like, I'm just curious how far you got, like, what level did you get, or do you remember, like, I, what location really you were at? I really don't remember. It was, like, when did that game come out? 2018? 2019. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to say 18. I want to say I played it December 28th, last time, or oh, January. Okay. They are both... Both Origins and Odyssey are on sale right now for $15 each or $30 for both on Xbox, which is crazy. Yeah, I, um, you're. every time I see you playing it, I'm like, yeah, I should jump back in or start. Uh, I, like it depends. It I, I think the big indicator is if, if you're in the mood for just kind of an open world, explore, grab side quests, get locations, that type of game. Then it's it's great for it. Um, or if you're really into uh, Egyptian history, because it's actually doing a really good job. I I know the period that it's that it's in is actually. Did you ever watch that HBO show Rome? Uh, 
So, there's a good... I want to say like half of Rome has to do with this period of Egypt. So having that background is making it easy for me to jump into the story because they're talking about like Ptolemy and Cleopatra and the Egyptian Civil War. And it's like, oh yeah, I already, I already know the background on this. Like today I got to meet um, Pompeo. And I was like, oh yeah, I know this guy. I know who he is. I know how he ends up. So it, it, instead of just being some random Roman general you're meeting, you're like, oh, I know where he's coming from and I know where he's going. Right. So it helps with that. So if you're yeah. into that, if you're, it's, it's pretty faithful and it does a good job of representing like ancient Egypt. Um, I did a little bit of eye racing as well. Um, I know last night, <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but yesterday I promised that I would do a Neo Geo mini stream and then I didn't because I realized <laughs> where it was. I had I had a race today in iRacing and I hadn't practiced at all and it's on Silverstone which is a very difficult track that I've never really understood and it was in uh, a 2012 Indy car which is a very temperamental car so I was like why am I playing the Neo Geo I need to practice for this race so I, I played iRacing for an hour and a half yesterday I still I think I only did two clean laps in that entire time oh. Um, and by clean laps, I mean, did not spin out or crash for the entire lap. So I probably put in like 40 laps and I only did two clean laps. So I basically just did not participate in the race today. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't want to crash out anybody. So I'm just going to take a two hour nap instead of racing. <laughs> um, which, I mean, it, I, I feel good about though, because I'd rather not... Even though it's a very low stakes and everybody's crashing in that league and they're very understanding, I would rather not be the guy that shows up that can barely complete a lap and then I just start wiping out people because of my mistakes. So. Makes sense. Come on. So close. Um, Can't believe I should. So I, I know. No, now you have to finish it. I know, I have to. Um, so I was still going to play in the OGO Mini. I don't know. Maybe that's a stream. I feel like that's a stream you would enjoy as well. Maybe we yeah. should co-do that. So I, I had put myself on it on the scheduling program. And I was mm -hmm. like, it was like 4.30 yesterday. Like, oh, I'm supposed to be on the stream with Ian. And I checked and you had done a subpixel, formula subpixel. Like, oh, maybe he was just doing that to warm oh, up. And, and I didn't even know. I, I didn't even notice you were, you put yourself on there because the other thing was, um, I just assumed you wouldn't make it because you're usually busy Friday nights. Yeah, it's every other Friday night. Um, oh, you're only breaking quarantine every other Friday now. Got it. Hey, there's social distancing for dinner. Um, oh, really? That's still, that's, come on now. I went grocery shopping today. Oh. Also, I'm a little my, pissed. I'll just say, in my defense, it's how we get our lunch. It's because I didn't want to do laundry in the communal laundry in our building. Oh. Because I figured, yeah, I'll, that I'll allow it. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. That's yeah. not my like end all be all excuse, but oh. that's at least a thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push the Neo Geo mini stream to the next open stream slot, which is. Wait, tell your grocery. Well, do you, do you still want to do Pod Racer on Tuesday? Oh. I did buy it for how about, and how, cents. How about we just put Neo Geo on Tuesday then. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. I was almost... Actually, that wouldn't work. Oh. I was thinking we could... Oh, come on! I'm trying to I talk. I'll put... Also my problem. Yeah, and nobody wants to hear you talk. Right. Oh. I'm gonna put Pod Racer. I'll just put it in the next open slot, which is... Um... Saturday, June 6th. Missing. Well, Pod Racer comes out that day. Yeah, but I don't think people care. No, to I don't be think honest with you, I... no, that's not my point. My point is, I would rather just not do it at all. Oh, okay. to, well, I just threw to it to June sixth, just because it's open. Oh, okay. And when we get closer, we can figure it out. Anyways, that's my long way of saying for you folks watching. I apologize. I was supposed to stream my Neo Geo Mini yesterday. But uh, things happened, and honestly, I think this may be better, because there's a lot of games on here. It, it, it could be fun. 
I uh, I thought about getting one, but what did you you saw them when they went down to thirty bucks, right? Yeah. I was like, listen, I yeah. can eventually play these on my computer. Oh. Yeah. Which I I'm I always do that thing. I don't know if you do that. buy something or spend time on something, and then as soon as you're like done, especially with like hardware stuff, as soon as you're done with it, you're like, oh, I'll just put it away. You get like retro all set up. So I'm like, yep. every day I'm trying to like look through some libraries and. Just yeah. Because it, it's helping, like, it passes the time, and I then find things that I'm like, oh, I could I could stream this. Yeah. Japanese Pikmin. Mario Pikmin. Oh. Folks in the chat, we are accepting level codes. Um, we've got three levels in the queue. If you want us to play your level, all you got to do is put your level code in the chat and we'll add it to the list and uh, for right now we're just going to play them in the order they're submitted if we get a whole lot of levels we'll switch it over to random mode which is basically we pull one at random just to spice it up a little bit but for right now add your add your code we guarantee you four minutes a solid four minute attempt at beating your level i'm giving this one extra time because i didn't set a timer because i was oh come on i was hubris. so cocky it's hubris i blame hubris uh, okay, I gotta focus. Oh. Ian, talk. Um, you know what? Uh, let's just talk about some I racing a little bit. So let's see what's on the schedule for this upcoming week. Let me take a looky loo. Upcoming, we have the 2000 2000s. No, actually, I think it's the 2013 NASCARs, which are pretty fun at Pocono Raceway. Which is actually kind of local to me. Only a couple hours away in Pennsylvania. It's good stuff because these are these are a little bit twitchy. These NASCARs, you actually got to slow down a little bit in the corners. It's it's a lot of fun. So I'm excited for that. The F1 2019 league, I kind of just dropped off because they they ended up just doing their own schedule and I don't really know what the schedule is. So like they I think they're doing Monaco tomorrow and that's a terrible track anyways. So hey, you finally beat it. Had to focus. Oh, you know what? I did get. I forgot to mention on stream the other day that I got something in the mail and this may be a one-off stream that we need to do. Another written letter. Oh, no. Uh, can you post oh, that? No, that's very tempting, though. Uh, yes. I got... I've talked about it in previous streams. I've been having really bad Joy-Con drift issues. They just developed in a couple of weeks and... It's basically unusable now, my left Joy-Con. So I got, for $25, including shipping, I got the iFixit Joy-Con joystick fix. So it's a new joystick. It's the tools you need to open it up. Maybe I'll do a little stream on that and just show it off. The procedure actually looks pretty easy. You just have to be a little bit delicate with some ribbons and stuff, but I, it's nothing too complicated for me. So I'm excited to do that. That was a great level, Mew. Acorn flights. Okay. Um, creep. I know nothing about acorn. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming I have to hold something. No, I'll test it. Oh, it's good. Oh. oh, you figured it out, buddy. Oh. Oh. So you can just, like, wall ride it? Oh, you probably, you may have to jump off the, you gotta wall jump off the spikes. And take the damage. Oh, maybe not. Hi, New Journey's Fire. Um, we, we don't do a uh, an automated list, but on the left-hand side of the screen, you will see our current yeah, list of levels. Oh, And then oh. do that. Oh, that's interesting. So you gotta do that right. Oh. Hey! Oh, oh shoot. Oh. 
That's All right, New Journey's Fire, I've got your level. I'm adding it to the list right now. Oh, oh creep. Oh, we've got our first world. Oh. I'm excited. Um, what was your grocery story? Grocery store store? Oh, yeah. So, um, Maggie's parents needed some food. So we drove, they live about 40, 45 minutes away from us. So we drove towards them and went to some grocery stores to pick up their food and a little bit of stuff for us as well. And first we went to Wegmans because we wanted to find yeast as well as like some coconut milk and stuff. So we figured Wegmans was our best bet. So we go to Wegmans, it's like 1030. We get out, we park, we get out of the car, we start walking towards it. And right as we hit the front, I realized there's a line wrapped around the store because they're controlling how many people are in the store at a time. And I was like, it's going to be like 20 minutes before we can even get in the store. And I was like, nope, not worth it. I stream mom. Um, so we left. We went to a shop right, which was like a, you know, smaller, normal grocery store. We go in the store and the store's like, you know, hey, social distancing. Like there's one way stickers on the floor and all this stuff. Right. And and it was nice. They were like, you want some hand sanitizer when we walk in? And they're like, you want a cart? And then they wipe down the cart in front of us and then hand it off to us. I was like, okay, great. And we start going through the store and there's all these people just ignoring the one-way signs. And then these people, like I was at the pork section and I'm looking at pork and this lady comes up to me and just stands right next to me. And I'm like literally right next to me. And it was like that throughout the store. Just, it was probably about half and half. People who were trying to observe those, other people who were just like, nope, who cares? And just walking around, walking right past you, standing there right next to you. And it was like, you got to be kidding me. And then I saw about five who had um, their mask. He says, you got to grab the shell and throw it at Larry. Yeah, from the Koopa. Who had their mask. It's hard to describe what it's not on camera, but they had their mask on, but they had the mask pulled down below their nose. So their nostrils were exposed <laughs> deliberately. I was like, you, you idiot. You basically just cut the mask efficiency in half pretty much because it's a respiratory disease so it's going to come through your nose just as easily through your mouth there was that person who just cut a hole in the mask they're like oh it's so hard mm -hmm. to breathe in these things i saw that yeah so that's i it just gets frustrating because it's like the store is trying real hard everybody there was wearing masks and they're trying but there's just idiots who are still standing next to each other and my only saving grace was knowing that the area of Maryland we were in has one of the lower rates of cases. They probably have a tenth of the cases that we do locally where we live. So, Stream Mom's got a good point. Store employees should be making sure people follow the rules and have customers leave if they refuse to comply. I agree. I think I think that's that's important. Kind of sucks if you, though right now and you're having to kick people out, but. It's it's, oh, it's just such a wonky situation. I didn't start the you want to pause and just start it for like two minutes? Um, what about watching? You been watching anything since we had our uh, stream uh... on Thursday? Uh, we watched Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kids. Karen had never seen it. Oh, that's a classic. That's one of my all-time favorite movies. I feel like I need to rewatch it because it's it's been it may have been ten years or more since I watched it's it. It's so good. I mean, it's there's good. some choices in it that are like kind of funny, uh, but it's just still. Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, they. They. I'm curious in the chat, what have you guys been playing, watching? How you guys been passing your quarantine time? Um. Oh, we can't talk. Yet. 
Um, the chat? No, no, just you have to be quiet so you can hear them. Oh. Uh, do you have it pointed at the right text document? Yeah, but I had to put a... I did reinstall OBS today. Kept all my... Isn't there like a plugin you got to put in? Well, you could always just... I would, I would say just delete the text source and recreate it. I, and I don't think it's a plugin because it's just reading from a text document, which I believe is, de uh, is uh, default. Um, Two seconds. Stream on. Stream on. Just preaching out here. Preaching the truth. The health of the employees and other customers gets put into question when people refuse to follow the rules. Having people leave is a small price to pay for safety. Yes. Also, some of the stuff I was talking about are now, now laws in Maryland during this crisis. So uh, the store can get fined if they're not following these rules. Um, there was something... Something I was going to bring up. Huh. Like, well, countdown's not working. That's fun. Do you want me to run it? Yeah. I, see. Oh, no, oh, I mean, mean, I can't. You it's mean your run computer. It. No, no, no. I just wasn't sure. Yeah. You... Dumbass. Yeah, hey. let me just run the countdown on your computer. No, I knew you weren't running it on my computer. I thought you meant check your set up to see if there was something else I'm missing. Oh, man. Um, I would just, while you're doing it, I would just check the, the text document it's reading from and see if that's actually updating. Yeah, that's what the next step was. Oh, oh, creep. I'm so weird. excited for your super world. Remember what's supposed to be in the countdown? Yeah, when, when it's running it will just change the text document to the current time. There's a problem. Can't you, uh, is there a way to check? Okay, how about you keep playing and I'll look on my site if there's a way to change which text document is pointed at. No, there is a way, but that's the right text document that I pointed. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes on this level. Drop down and then throw it in. <laughs> Creep. Oh my goodness. Creep's making a long world. The maximum number of levels in a world is 40. I didn't know you could go that high. That's awesome. Oh, you know what I have been watching, and I think I'm getting close to the end of, is um, a Mobile Suit Gundam 8th MS team. Nice. Um, it's it's good. I don't think I like it quite as much as um, War in the Pocket, just because this this one's weird because it's it's like serious, but at the same time, it's also got some comedy in it. It's hard. I'm trying to like I'm trying to think of something that. To, yeah, you've seen Band of Brothers, right? Yeah. It's kind of like Band of Brothers, but maybe like 20% more comedic. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, but it's pretty good. It's it's pretty good. It's probably my second or third favorite series out of Gundam so far. Um, and I know you started watching it, right? You watched yeah. an episode or two previously? I watched an episode recently. It's good. I think that's another good starting point for, for Gundam. Just getting an idea of it. The, the action scenes are real good. And it's it's actually, I don't want to say it's the first time, but it's definitely the most 
tactics driven Gundam. Like there are moments where they're like, okay, the enemy is here. We're going to have you flank from the right and like pin them down. And I'm going to ambush them on the left. Wait for my signal. And it's like that little bit is more tactics than sometimes an entire season of Gundam has. So it's it, it's pretty cool that they do that. Hi, Coffee Crisp. We're adding your level to the to the list. Uh, right, Will, so the timer went off, so, so you got to finish this. This is your last shot, baby. Uh, okay, that was my last shot. Apologize, everyone. Um, all right, Hi, here Chris. we go. MM Flow. Timer is not. Um, the other thing I did was I got my 3D printer working. Nice. 3D printers, very finicky. And the last time I did like a month straight of printing for that Twilight Imperium 4 um, set. And it was starting to like show some defects towards the end of it. And then I tried to print something like a month ago and it just failed. I was having like layer adhesion issues and stuff. And man, I tell you what, the thing about... 3D printer is that it's just very, very finicky, and there's a lot of stuff and settings to mess with. But I think I figured out the issue, and my my sister they moved into a new house recently, so they wanted um they wanted uh, they have like Echo Dots, and they wanted some wall holders for them. So they could like clip the echo dot into a holder and then just hang the holder on the wall. So I printed those for him and it came out real nice. So now I'm like, what else am I going to print? I think I'm going to print some sprue holders for Gunpla. They get held like vertically. I don't know if you guys got any, got any ideas in the chat what I should 3D print next. Oh, that's tight. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, you gotta get... What's the requirement? Three red coins? Or three keys? Oh, why did he sit down like a cat? <laughs> the frog! Ha 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 That was great. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm not gonna make it. That's hard. Oh, what the crap? Did this me already? What is what makes it? Like the weight that that the timing isn't right. I don't want to. Yeah, I like. I, th I think if you're going to do timing for these levels, you have to make it so that if you're perfect from the start, you never have to wait. You know, you're like always on the perfect timing. And then you make a mistake, you have to back up and wait for the cycle to reset. You got any plans for uh, Mother's Day? Probably like a Zoom or something? Uh, yeah, I got to call my mom. How much? Karen's baking some bread. Ooh. Hi, Jack Attack. What's up, Jack Attack? Um, we could find yeast. I'm pretty sure I used my last packet of yeast, so no more homemade bread for me. Yeah, Karen made her own sourdough starter. I'm just, I'm just not a big sourdough fan, so. Yeah. But you could just make a regular starter. But can't you make a regular starter? I don't I don't know. Let me look it up. Regular. I've never heard of that. But does it have to be sour? Like could I make a white bread? Okay, that that's what I was asking. So it has to ferment. 
So it would be sour. I think. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, I mean, I know you can do soda bread, but that doesn't quite oh, have... Yeah, yeah. No, but I wasn't sure if you could just make a starter for it. You can do yeast water, so this says it's dried or fresh fruit mixed with water left to ferment. And then the water mixed with flour to stand in for a regular sourdough starter. That's a little weird. I'll have to look at this recipe. Jack Attack, you can request a level. Um, all you have to do is put the level code in the chat and we'll add it to the list. Uh, right now we've got four levels in the list and we do four minutes per level. So just put that code in that chat, baby boy, and I'll add it right to the list. 10 seconds, Will, don't die. Last run. Oh, I'm sorry, you died too soon. You still have time left. One more run. Huzzah! Did it on purpose. Look his little feet. I am a feet kicker. Um, sorry, folks. Normally we have a uh, we have a normally we have a timer in the upper left of the stream. Tech difficulties. Well, maybe what you could try to do is um, install it again real quick. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's the only thing I think of is reinstalling OBS, but it worked after the last time. Yeah. I'm just remembering when I had this issue before, I think I just had to, because I, I think it's just a zip. I think I just had to unzip it into a new directory and then uh, set it up again like that. Mr. Coffee Crisp, you may be the only viewer on Twitch, but we've got at least two other people on YouTube watching. Thank you. Um, yeah, I can, I don't know if I have the. Uh, let me check your downloads. I'll look for the uh, link if I need to send it to you. I downloaded it 11 15 28. Doubt it. Or it says I am. Hey, what if you just what if you just copy what's currently there into a new like countdown to folder? Because that's what the zip is going to be. I clean my downloads folder really. Um, I do not. Oh, you know what I did do yesterday? This is what I was going to tell you. The Formula Subpixel stream. I played your new intro at the end of it. I saw at the beginning. It. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, at at the end of the big of the pre-roll. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. It worked out really well, but you know what else I did? What? I edited that together in DaVinci Resolve. And I, I haven't fully done Resolve yet, but let me tell you something. Very quick, very snappy, and it is noticeably faster than Premiere. Nice. Noticeably. So I'm uh, I'm gonna try I'm gonna take a tutorial. I'm actually gonna try it now. Counter is working. Nice. Okay, so um, you're I, in control fixed, of it now. So I, I manually made frames to make it look like that border's moving around Formula Subpixel. And yeah. then, uh, instead, because I didn't, the alternating just didn't look that good. Um, now it, like, moved yeah. around. And then the only other thing is in that scene where the, where you sit in the car, I was thinking of changing the backs of the guy's shirt to Subpixel. Because it's a static image, so I can just edit that part. The only move um yeah like i think the only thing i need to look for me i think the only thing it needs is just that sub that formula subpixel logo is on the screen so long that it's got to have a little bit of motion to it that's pretty much it yeah everything so else I, i'm fine I, I with especially that. since it's the pre-roll you know yeah so um uh, uh -huh. but yeah that um this is some new level stuff star? missing yeah new level the uh, um, actual game <laughs> that I copied that from, or I mean, it's all their footage base. Um, yeah. It is super long. Like, there's like huge blank parts between stuff. So I edited it down. I actually reordered it. It turned out pretty good. The music is set. 
Mr. Coffee Crisp, your code is on the left. Um, you should see it. Yeah, the code is on the left. Sir, You're in the list. Crisp. List. Okay. We run. First Special people to submit two. get their level added to the list at the top. So when you Timer submit, you get to the back of the list. King is four levels away. We'll get to it. Don't you worry. Worry. Uh, I googled best Commodore Amiga intros ever. That, I feel like yeah, we should just, we should be repurposing a lot more of these for our intro segments. Yeah, I figured also with Formula Subpixel, um, stream only show. So if anyone was actually concerned with like monetization something we don't monetize it yeah there's no oh it's wow how block man the amiga had good graphics at least judging by some of these intros oh yeah they're, they're pretty good All right, Mew, I've got your level. I'm adding it to the list. Yeah, uh, those Amiga games. Some of them are. Hey, you're doing a great job. But, um, but yeah, I, I like running those. That, um, I was, I tried to actually play that game, but I was in some sort of weird spectator mode where I was just switching from car to car. Um, oh. But I was. I wonder if it was. I wonder if it was like a manager game. I was thinking of recording that and it behind the rest of the. Yeah, you could. Cause I, cause right now it's just the image. But I mean, like, like we talked about, nobody watches that, so it's almost like we should prioritize Mario. Yeah, I, I was actually trying to think. Mm -hmm. Hi, Super John. So, folks at home, what we're talking about is we we start the stream five minutes before we actually start playing and what we do is we just have like a countdown timer from five minutes down to zero and usually we have just an image behind it sometimes we, we do like videos behind it so we're talking about what type of pre-roll video or image would be interesting to, to see just think of it as like a five minute long um intro sequence to the super mario maker 2 streams and the whole time there's a countdown timer on it saying live in three minutes live in two minutes etc I, I pulled up the Super Mario All-Stars intro because I thought that would be good, but it's really not. It's just them, like, talking in silhouette, and then the lights come on. Supposed to do. Okay, you got the Frogger. No, this part. Okay. What if you kept going left? Okay, now go. And your pride. And your dignity. Oh. All of it gone. Oh, still got 13 seconds. I love... Good aesthetic. Just gotta dodge. Yeah. No, I think creep what you mean is you got this, just be good. Yeah, got it. Oh, worst part is with. 
Okay. Good level. Sucker for Exit course. We could do um, a CRT TV. And on it is playing just random clips of Super Mario Maker 2 levels. And it's like maybe just like a slow zoom in. Like if we do a picture where the CRT is like 25% of the picture, then over the like, let's say four minutes, 30 seconds, we slowly zoom in on the CRT. And then the last 30 seconds is like a, a slightly higher production intro. The other thing we could do is we could just make a generic subpixel live pre-roll. I was thinking that if kind of just unprecedented us. times, we could do a thing like not like sketches, but it'd just be like, oh man, we should go live live soon. Rushing to like set up the stream. Then like we That'd be a funny time joke. Be yeah, funny, like, that's a once. funny joke. I just think yeah, funny once. That's a good skit, though. It is pretty good. I can't believe you don't want to remake that F1 intro video I sent you. It's so good. I'm going to watch it again real quick. I didn't. Hi, my name's Will, and I didn't hold the button. My name's Bob. You missed the freaking... Shell Mario. But Mario. like the whole point is it would be me playing the role of everybody in this video. Uh uh Lil Curb's videos. Ooh, I'll have to look those up, Super John. This is the video I'm talking about, folks. Um The F1 intro video, so the idea is we have a series where we play racing games. I wanted to remake this entire video, but it's me playing every person. I just... I'm still okay with it. It's just a lot of work to, like, put the other people... Put you in instead of them. Yeah, no, I, I know that. That's why I would I would have to do it, not you. Because I, I wouldn't want to put that much work on you. It's a very... I don't even want to say niche joke, because, like, racing games... They will yeah. understand this in a How ridiculous it is. Woo. But we don't have enough viewers to put the effort in. That's true. But we should pretend like we <laughs> It's such a good intro, though, because half the people in the intro, some of them are still racing, and some of them have raced recently enough that you recognize them. So it's not just like a bunch of old people. It's like... Old enough to be weird, but recent enough to be like, oh, there's Alonzo. There's Hamilton. You Listen, know? if you get me all the footage, I can do. Yeah, it's just not worth it without the viewership. I could do the guy in the, in the Asian garb who just spins around and then he does the whoop face. Wow. In garb. Yeah. How do I say that non-racist? Because <laughs> uh, I don't know the, which Asia it is. It was, it was the name of that music in Roller Coaster Tech. I don't remember what that... Did I ever find out what you were referring to on that? It wasn't actually... Racist. It was just... It was... Uh, what was it called? It, well, it was Oriental Mix 2 or something like that. Oh. But then it was just like clearly just like basic... Like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Gotcha. Whatever. What is that instrument? You know, I like the know. strings? Like pluck strings that's always like... Yeah. Cut to Asian country. Wow, this is getting into dangerous territory. That that is um, the Asian version of cut to Middle Eastern country, and it's mm -hmm. like the guy yelling the prayer or like singing the prayers. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got you, Super John. I, I I see the link. I looked up his channel. I think the thing is, we wouldn't want to show somebody else playing. I think we would want to use our own videos if we were going to go to that level, just because it's our it's our own channel. We don't want to use somebody else's content um you know the thing about that though is a lot of people say that's racist about the uh adan the, the call to prayer but as somebody lived in a middle eastern country for four years they do play that five times a day no, I, and they I'm play not... it at every mosque so it's like you know 
I'm not saying it's racist. I'm saying like, it's overused. Yeah. Like every cut is always starts with that. like in a movie. I see that. I could see that. But let me tell you what life is like. Every time it plays, you're hearing it five times a day. So it's like it's it is like overused, but at the same time, it's surprisingly accurate. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. yeah. I'm not against that. It's just like I feel like it's everything. Yeah. Um, okay, so I think the rule for the world is you you have four minutes to beat each level. And every time you beat a level, the timer resets. But as soon as you can't beat a level, that's it. Uh, Jack Attack, I've got your level. I'm adding it in now. I still think we should make worlds. Didn't we do that? Oh, worlds. And it... Oh, worlds. Ooh, I saw that part. Um, oh, creep. A death compilation? That'd be a lot of work, because we'd have to download a copy of each stream, but that would be pretty funny. The only thing I'm hesitant about that is, um, while the countdown is playing, you don't want it to look too much like the stream, because then somebody could get confused and think the stream is actually live. So you'd have to spiffy it up, like put it on a CRT, make the countdown timer bigger, etc. Things like that to make it clear that it's a montage countdown. Also a lot of effort. But I would say probably probably the best idea so far. Well, one. Plus, we don't have to do a death compilation from every stream. We just have to get five minutes worth of deaths, which may only need to be like, I don't know, maybe five or six stream downloads. Hi, Portugal Player 7. Yes, you can send a level. Just put the level code in the chat and I'll add it to the list. Do it, Portugal Player. Oh, wow. This level isn't necessary. I gotta play with these. I be the sky. I'm so happy we got a bunch of people watching. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you're enjoying this at all, give us a like, follow, subscribe. Subpixelfilms.com. That takes you to our uh, YouTube page. That's where we have a whole bunch more videos, not just streams. I can't believe it. That's So we may have to go to random at some point because we got a bunch of stuff in here. I didn't want what was Oh hi. Oh hi, hi. Hi, oh hi. Will, I think it may be time to go to random. I'm trying to do a surprise we... look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, actually, you know what? Mr. Coffee Crisp seemed real eager for us to play his level. So what we're going to do is, after this world, we're going to play Mr. Coffee Crisp. Don't worry, it's only four minutes per world. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to random. So the way random works is we just pick a random level from the list. Portugal player, we don't have a, an automated bot with our list. If you just look on the left-hand side of the stream, you'll see the list of levels coming up. Hi, I'm a stupid man. Das um stupid boy. Das um ein stupido boy. Hey, um, I don't know how to put this politely, but, uh, but, uh, I'm a stupid boy, you know? <laughs> Like my mother before me. Not my mother before that mother, though. She was real nice. But my great-great-grandmother. She's stupid, boy. You know? Oh, my grandpa. Real uh, stupid. Boy. She's just, like, st the stupidest, you know? Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I don't know. You know what's coming up next what? Saturday? What week? Fiasco. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. I'm very We don't have a that. fourth. Should we get a fourth? I could, uh, ask Zach. Yeah. I'll leave that up to you. It, it worked pretty well with three people. The only thing is, this is something that's difficult, and I still don't do this very well, is our scenes could be longer. You know? We could always just have longer scenes, because the Fiasco podcast I listen to, their scenes are typically like four or five minutes long. They kind of live in it a bit. They don't just kind of like hit the plot point and continue. But what we're talking about, folks, is... We've been playing this uh, role-playing game. It's a one-shot collaborative storytelling game where you basically, each of you picks uh, by dice roll, you have this random character generation and relationships between each person's character, and you improv scenes from a movie describing a fiasco of sorts. So last time we did uh, murder, I think it was, I, I forget what it was, but it was basically we were on a train in the 1930s right before World War II, the Queen of England had quote unquote committed suicide, but it was secretly a murder. <laughs> and some of us, uh, some, one of us was the captain of the train, another person was a porter who was secretly part of the anarchist group that had killed the Queen of England, and the third person was a Belgian detective. And uh, we just kind of improv that for an hour and a half, and it was, it turned out really well. It was great, a lot of fun. Um, so we're gonna be doing that again this Saturday at nine, next Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm not sure what the scenario is yet. Um, it's not quite D&D, &D, Jack, because there's it's it's not crunchy with rules and dice rolls. It's basically like the, the character-driven parts of D&D &D where you're like having conversations with other people. That's the entirety of it. And it's a one-shot, meaning you just you create the characters, you tell the story over an hour and a half, two hours, and then that's the end of it. Um, I highly recommend tuning into it, though, if you like D&D &D or other RPG games. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, what scenario do you think we should do? William, Yosefitz. Um, oh, I, I kind of want to look. No, I was thinking about this because mm -hmm. I don't know if it's. There's some of these that I don't know. Even though it's a group game, I don't know if it would go well with the group. There was one that it was like a plane crash, like the Canadian wilderness, because I was playing the Long Dark. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that scenario. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't think some scenarios feel like feel like too claustrophobic in a way where it's like, oh, that's, I know what's that's going what I'm getting. Yeah. Even with multiple people. Yeah. So let me throw out some ideas. These are these are scenarios that I've heard on the podcast. One was a superhero convention. Um, another one was like a, a local TV news station. There's um I think it's called Suburbia, and it's basically just like a white middle-class suburb. There's an office. There's a video game developer one. There's... You're on a... We, we probably shouldn't do this because we just did the train. But there's a similar one, but you're on like a transatlantic flight. Like a, like an 18-hour transatlantic flight. Or I think it was a trans-Pacific flight. Um... There's one that's kind of like the thing, but I think that's a bit too claustrophobic. Yeah, I want to look at the list. There's one I saved from. Oh, there's one that's a that's a cult. Like you're just like. That one sounds. You're just kind of like a weird religious group in the wilderness. There's another one. I was trying to find it. I think you have to pay for it, but it may be worth it. Where you're. You're all. It's it's around a, an evangelical TV station. Oh, he's such a little cooper. I I played this. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this world, even though like I'm just playing levels. I don't know what it is. I'm like... It's got it's got some great design to it. Daddy likey. Though. I like levels that aren't, I don't know how to, like, I guess, it's, that aren't just hard. They're just, all, like, jumping and getting to places, but you don't die as a consequence. Yeah. Just fall down. Yeah, it's like, like it's like a continuous challenge rather than a lethal challenge. Yeah. You have to do several like, things. 
right in a row. Right. Like the Bennett body. It's that idea of yeah. when you mess up, you just don't die and stuff. Your failures. Yeah. Like, I think the jump oh, stuff is yeah. always fun. Stream Mom says the local TV news station idea makes me immediately think of Welcome to Night Vale. Have you heard that podcast? We could do. I'm pretty sure there's another one that ha that takes place on like a, it's either a space station or a spaceship, kind of like a mission to Zix type thing. Oh, that be I, that came back, didn't? It? Yeah, it's on right now. I I think they're bi-weekly, the bi-weekly every two weeks. They have two. Yeah, me too. Especially now that Giant Bomb just other. Yeah, I need to listen to that. I don't know if it's going to be... I love the three of them on a podcast, but I haven't listened to it yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be... I just like it because it's just them talking. They're not, like... They're not even doing new... Oh, it's... Oh, really? It's just them hanging out? Oh, that does sound great. How's your timer, by the way? Uh, out. I guess. That's good. Um... So, so I'm curious in the chat. Tell us what podcast you guys listen to. Um, I'll kick it off. Definitely, Giant Bomb Cast and the Giant Beast Cast from Giant Bomb. Great stuff. Um, I've also been listening to uh, This American Life. I, I just kind of let it build up and then I listen to it. Um, I also listen to The Fifth Column, which is a really good uh, political podcast. It's basically these libertarian leaning journalist and they do a really good job they're very very knowledgeable so they just kind of hang out get drunk and just basically slam everybody in the news <laughs> like they have this segment at the end of their show called some idiot wrote this where they just pick out really really stupid news articles um you typically like opinion pieces and just slam them um i do listen to the uh the joe rogan podcast depending on who the guest is sometimes he has guests on that are just like bad comedians or just like MMA fighters and I don't care so I don't listen to that uh, yeah. but other times like yes quick question so I beat the first yeah. world you think I stop yes. there or do I keep going I'm gonna leave it up to you I think I stop here just because I want to get to other people okay but I will come back at some point uh, let's do Mr. Coffee Crisp and then we'll go to random yes Coffee crisp, then random. Uh, whose levels were those that I just played? That, that was a uh, new journey. Let me actually, you know, what, let me save that. It was new journey. I really enjoyed those. Ones, by the way. Yeah, that was fantastic. All right, those are like my favorite types of levels. That's just like they're like classic Mario levels. Just getting through them, you're not. Yeah. Um, new journey's fire. I have saved your level code your world code in our list. So we will be coming back to it at some point. Probably not today's stream. Can um, I start from world two there again? I don't know. Why H Y H Y H Y H K. Uh oh. Let me let me double check. Copy crisp. Got that coffee Chris. I want coffee cake. Y H Y H H Y H K F. Got it. He posted it twice. I grabbed the first one. The second one was the correct. That's my mistake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I'm trying to think what other podcast world. I listen to. Uh, Mission to Zix, Comedy Bang Bang. You know, that may be it. I I, my, am uh... I choosing world here? Do we know? Guessing. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. You got to his 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 person yeah let's send me to his person let's i'd say pick a course pick a course pick a course any course maybe pick the one that has the least place oh you know i'm gonna go to his one yeah um other podcasts listen to shift f1 which is an f1 podcast um are you talking REM Remi, which is a, a comedy podcast about music? And the dollop. 
the dollop's pretty funny. Dollop is like two comedians talking about weird stories. Uh, uh, so Creep what? says you you can continue where you left off in the world if you went to their profile, oh. either their profile or maybe maybe your profile. Either way. Um, oh, you have a world save. Got it. Sorry, go ahead and talk. Uh, my friend. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, wait, real quick. Um, my friend who does the uh, press A repeatedly podcast, the video game podcast. He um yeah. Also, they do a podcast called Whacked Facts, which is where they um, they give three facts during the show, but one of them isn't true. So you have to guess by the end of the episode which is true. So it's kind of like, what's that old game show where... Guess my line? There's... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's the one where where there's there's like one person with an interesting story and there's three people trying to pretend to be that person. Yeah, or two people trying to pretend that, to be one person actually is. That's the one that catch me if you can guy was on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I've been meaning to listen to it. Um, because I heard it's pretty. Good. Wait, so 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 they have to, but that that sounds like a two minute podcast. What's the filler? What do they do with it? I think they, I don't know if they're like, I, I haven't listened to it, so I have no idea. Um, what do you mean you have no idea if you haven't listened to it? How dare you? <laughs> Just. For half a um, second, I thought you were serious. I was like, what does he mean? I have no idea. Um, no, that'd be pretty funny, though. Maybe it's like each of them shepherds a lie, and they have to convince the other people. Well, no, that wouldn't really work. Or maybe they're. Each of them <gasps> pitches it. I don't know. That'd be... <gasps> freaking out! Freaking out! Oh. <laughs> Good job. Um. Yeah. So I've been meaning to listen to it. I just... And by I don't have time okay. as I select other things. Yeah. Okay. You ready for random time? Random time. Give me random time. I'm randomizing. How many times should I should I? Press the randomizer. 430. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, how many times? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Oh, hi. Congratulations. We're wow. playing your level. <laughs> Congratulations. We're playing your level. Hi, General Grievous. Thanks for joining bottom of the list and he got picked that's great look that's just the magic of um our sponsor dub chocolate hmm. you can believe i'd i'd workshop that joke a little bit more excuse me i'm just saying excuse me excuse me you scoozing him you scoozing bro you scoozing Yo, bro, you scoozing? You scoozing? Yo, you scoozing? Are you scoozing? Uh, excuse me, you scoozing? Hi, uh, are you from the Scoozin' Foundation? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were scoozing. Oh, are you scoozing right now? <laughs> Yo, you scoozing? Yo, look at me. Look at Yo, me. Excuse me. Look at Karen just, Karen just scoozed at me. You scoozing? I don't. You scoos and believe you that? Hey, what? um, I have on my desk uh, a little bottle of Diet Coke. Do you want to play some Slurper Gurp? I love Slurper Gurp. Uh, before we start, right, or Gurp, uh, yes. can you? Yes. What was the fake? Um, what was the fake swear word we came up with? Oh, I can't remember. It was like clip, something like that. Clonk? No. Clonk. I can't remember. Uh, anyways, uh, let's play Slurper All, All right, folks, folks here's how you play Slurper I'm going to read the ingredients from this Diet Coke bottle. True. And Will has to say Slurp or Gurp to each one. That's all you need to know. Hi, General Grievous. What's up, General Grievous? Here we Grievous. go. Uh, real quick, creep. Have we thought about multiplayer versus? We have. Here's the problem with multiplayer in this game. 
Every time somebody Sucks. dies, the game freezes for like five frames. So if you're playing along and the other person dies, all of a sudden you get like this this intentional hitching, which sucks. So we we don't really play it. Maybe we'll try it again in the future, but it sucks. Um, you ready, Will? Yes, I'm ready. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Carbonated water. Burp. Caramel color. <laughs> I lost it. Um. Blurp. Aspartame. Blurp. Wow, that's surprising. Phosphoric acid. No, oh, gurp! Gurp, gurp. Gurp, gurp. Potassium benzoate. Gurp, gurp. Don't even come at excuse me, with me. potassium excuse benzoate. Me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Potassium benzoate, parentheses, to protect taste, it and parentheses. Blurp. Natural flavors. Ooh, Citric acid. Herp. Caffeine. Oh. Oh, shit. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Forgot the green ones. Along. Creep. Creep, you crazy boy. He says if you play online, then you won't freeze if someone dies. What? It's only for local play. What? And that's today's that. whacked fact, everybody. It's not true. It's just simply not true. We're going to do it. <laughs> We're going to have to try that in a future stream because I need to fix my Joy-Con before we do that. Yeah, you don't want... Don't you have a broken uh, one? I do, but then I would have to play off the Elgato <laughs> on my computer just to play. What do you think I'm doing? Yeah, but I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to capture. <laughs> it's the end. Die to the Koopa. Oh, almost oh, did, didn't you? You should go down. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> the worst thing that's ever happened. Oh, come on. Try jumping over. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna have to try How much that time out. you have uh, I started a little late. Did you hear about Twitch? Did you hear I I'm, I'm sorry. did you hear about the Twitch and Okay, did you hear about the new feature Twitch has that's now available for everybody? What is it? If you are a Twitch Prime member, which means you've linked your Amazon Prime account, you can now play any video that's on Prime Video for your viewers on Twitch. Oh, that's cool. Right? So we could have a, a group movie night. Only through Twitch, but it's totally possible. I'm going to see what's on. I'm going to see what's on Prime Videos. No! Yeah, we could watch... Um, no! Um, we can watch, uh, porn. That's, they do have that on Amazon. Actually, do you think they have porn? I'm going to look it up real quick. Can I tell you, uh, an, of an adventure I went on on the internet? Yeah. Okay. Vice? I think it was Vice. I'm Somebody... sorry. Real quick. I definitely found porn on Amazon. Oh, totally. That was too easy. Okay. So, Vice had an article written. I think it was one. Don't hold me to it. But it was about mm -hmm. a website, I won't say the name of it, that has sprung up to combat Twitch because since Twitch doesn't allow nudity, this website's going to allow streaming with nudity. <gasps> okay. And I was like, sure, that's going to be a real thing. So I went to said website. 
Um, mostly because I was mm -hmm. curious, like, if I wasn't sure if Twitch couldn't get away with it because they're mainstream or just because it's hard to get away with. So I went to the site. It was very like, you know, when you act or not accident, you know, when you get redirected to a foreign website, it's like 50 things of like, hey, sign up for this. Hey, we're offering you a free thing. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. It was like yeah. 30 pages of that, but they were all questions of like, hey, do you hate it that Twitch blocks uh, women from showing their skin? And then it's like, what do you watch Twitch video or live stream video? They didn't say Twitch. They're like, what do you listen to live streams for? Do you like to look at the person or watch what they're playing and all this stuff? So it's like, it was like a survey when you first enter the website. Yeah. And so finally That's it weird. gets to the main website. And I just, I was just curious to see how they're, how they're promoting it. Like, what are they doing? So you can first like click on streams and they have like active ones like Twitch does. And it's what it ended up being like, I clicked on maybe three or four before it was like, Hey, you should sign up for an account so you can watch more. And I was like, I'm never surrendering my um, yeah, but as far as I could tell from refreshing the page, it just kept starting on each of the streams. It kept starting the video from the same spot, and all oh, the so chats were I. faked. <gasps> like it was the That's same funny. user saying the same thing, but I could still chat, so it was as if it was live. Uh, yeah, that's. And I was like, that's... oh, they're just getting girls to film porn, pretending they're streaming. Um, yeah. I mean, not that the girls don't know that. I'm trying to fake it for yeah. the viewer. Um, so, um, slight correction from me. Stream had a good oh, question. Do the viewers also need a Prime count? Turns out they do. So here's what happens. It's watch parties enable Twitch creators and their viewers with active Prime memberships to watch a selection of popular movies and TV shows available on Prime Video, including Amazon Originals, as well as third-party shows such as Star Trek and Survivor. So it's kind of, it's basically just a way to watch Prime videos together. It's it's not as good as we Can you as random me, Johnny? Yes. Uh, give me a number of randos. Two. Let's random two. One. Two. Congratulations, Creep. Yay, You're creep. top of the list. And the randomizer agrees. <laughs> but yeah, it was just like... I don't know what I was expecting, but it's not a bad idea, but don't like think you're just doing it by yeah. doing it that way. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just like how, how I, you'd have to make a very narrow policy to do it properly. Like, for example, like we were we were thinking about streaming some hentai games just because I found a bundle of them for cheap, but we can't yeah. do that anywhere. So if you had a website that was like, look, you can't do in-person nudity but you can stream hentai games i could see that being an understandable niche but if you're allowing people to be nude on camp then it's like you're a porn site now yeah. you know exactly so that's 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 the weird thing is it's like don't try and advertise yourself as twitch with the nudity it, be honest you're just you're just a porn site then. um Oh hi! I really I like I like that level. What am I? How do I do anything? In uh, Creep says choose a song you know if you know any. Did you get his level or is this a? No, he he sent a, a person and I chose Tank from Cowboy Bebop. But I don't remember what any of these symbols mean. Oh, that means throw it there. Yeah, I think so. And then you hop off of it. Yeah, you'd hop off of it and then land on the platform. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Oh. All right, you, you're doing great over here, buddy. Thanks. Let go of it in the box. I never remember what these secret symbols Oh man, well, 
I know you don't care, but iRacing just announced that they're adding 1987 NASCAR cars. Let me see if that. Sounds oh, they're like extremely fun. difficult levels. Thank you. Yeah, try, try to find one with the highest clear rate. Thank you. Oh, it doesn't tell you the clear rate, does it? Most hearts? This is auto. auto yeah, do, do an. Yeah, do an auto scroll. Oh, I guess auto scroll doesn't. Ooh, Creep said he did two hours to wow. beat it, and another two hours for world record. Congrats on the world record. Am I supposed <laughs> to hear any of these songs? That's not an auto scroll. No, it is an auto scroll. Auto scrolling. That's an auto. Oh, I'm no, sorry. I thought it. Yeah. Yeah. Creep, come on now. You know he's bad at this game. Yeah, you know I'm bad. Do composer of the... Oh, no. Maybe no auto-scrolls. Maybe auto-scrolls? Run. Look at these. Speed run at least means it's quick, right? Puzzles. Tofu. All right, let's try one more. All. The clear rate. 0.41. 4%. That's a 4%er. Oh, 0. 0.17. Do the 4%er. Composer composer of bells is what uh creep says. That's what he suggests. Yeah, do 2. that. 2.51. Here we go. First it's try 48 everybody. Seconds. The composer. Hey, I made it pretty far. Yeah, I don't know how you get past that. You don't, I bet they're like, you don't um, start with. You don't have fireballs or something? You don't have a power? Oh. I wonder if I have to duck perfect. That's not something Probably. I'm going to find out. But, creep. Love you. Very creative levels. We're just not great at it, so. Not good. Also, if I was able to play that whole level, I don't think I'd be able to play it any. Because I'm so far. Our yeah. Randomize All right, number of randomizers. Three times, please, sir. One, two, three. Congratulations, be the sky. It's time for you to shine. My baby boy. Folks, we are taking level. Just throw it in the chat there. We'll add it to the list and we'll randomize. You could get a lucky beat next. Who knows? It's a me. Me knows. Okay. The scroll rise at the rift. Zero clears. 77,500. Is that what that means? I think so. Or, yeah. Attempts. Did you start the timer? Oh, I'm glad I, I I can't tell if you have or not, so it's it's like a bit of an asshole move where I'm like, did you start the timer? I I it's it's funny when I didn't when the timer wasn't working, I thought of it every time, but now that it's working. Yeah. Oh you poop. Hi, it's me, poop. Hi. It's me, Poop. Well. <laughs> Gosh, I hate. Why can't we... Why can't another game be popular with our... 
audience. <laughs> <laughs> um, you but know what? I, I, I forgot to mention. Assassin's Creed Origins has made me appreciate Red Dead Redemption 2 more because Assassin's Creed still does a lot of the stuff where it's like, oh, you need to talk to this person for this quest. So half the time you have to walk up to them and press the talk button, you know, and then it does like a quick cut to a cutscene and all this other stuff. And it feels like I, I'm remembering all the innovative stuff that Red Dead Redemption 2 did around that, where it's like, you know, we know why you're here. So as soon as you come within proximity, it seamlessly fades into a cutscene and then I fades do. back into gameplay. And, and I just, I think I took a lot of that polish and innovation for granted. Still not crazy about the game, but going back to something that feels like more of a typical modern open world design as opposed to the the, the revolutions that Red Dead Redemption 2 made in some of those designs. It's uh, it's pretty interesting to see. Yeah, because like know. in Red Dead, you walk up to a house and you hear people shouting inside and the quest is starting versus another game. You walk up to the house hit A on it, then it reloads into a cutscene here, people. Yeah. It's very good at, like, as you said. Why can't I just go? Hi, I'm a graham cracker. What was our, uh, scoozin'? <laughs> you scoozin'? You scoozin'? Uh, hey, boy, you scoozin'? Did we finish Slurp or Gurp? I don't think I slurped everything. Or Gurp. No, that was it. Was it? That was it. It was a pretty low list. Pretty small list. I felt like I slurped way more than I gurped there. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta slurp that gurp, you know? He coming up on you? Um, Stream Mom is asking, isn't that also how GTA 5 story mode worked? I believe so. It's been a long time since I played it. I still had to confirm you were... I, like, you still had I to think go sometimes... to a location that had, like, the L on the map. Or... Oh. Yeah, I mean, you still do that in, in Red Dead Redemption 2 for some of the stuff. But I think I think what we're talking about is the, the seamless between cutscene and in terms of like you don't I have to do a deliberate action to get into it no i know what you're talking about but in gta 5 i think you still had to go up to the sometimes i think sometimes i think there's also some other times where you you would like pull up and they would be on the curb and they'd be like hey man where you been and they would but I, maybe that was mid-mission no because didn't you have to walk up to the well, at least there's a couple Michael ones where you had to, like, walk up to the door of his house. Yes. Yeah. Which is similar, but I feel like Red Dead... Yeah. It's not... Yeah, it's not as unified as, as Red Dead. The other thing Red Dead, I think, did well is the changes to a lot of the hunting and fishing. Being like... You know, I mean, I kind of hear you, but at the same time, that hunting was just, like... The fishing was stupidly dull like there was nothing to it right wasn't it just like throw and then Burping. catch i mean i'm pretty sure you're wrong <laughs> i remember it just being like no depth at all well, i should say i remember and, like, it being fun for me i the, but the thing is like I, I remember it being a lot like animal crossing fishing where it's like throw it in the right area wait for something to happen and then do it and animal crossing that's okay because you're doing it repeatedly you're doing it a lot and it's it's supposed to be cutesy simple but in red dead it was like let's go fishing go to the fishing area put some bait on your hook and then it's like throw it catch it, throw it catch it you know there wasn't any like drag mechanic or anything like that the there hunting a, a real drag no no but there is a real in drag but i don't think you have to do it I right think, i think you just for throw certain it fish in. for like the legendaries and all Maybe for the legendaries. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Because it's been so long since I've played it. Aaron plays it. <laughs> it's just such a slow, stupid game. 
Okay, here we go. I, I just like that because you... I feel like very old wet. So you can control how far you cast, and then you slowly reel in using the right analog stick to attract the fi fish's attention. Or you can flick the rod. Yeah, so you're right, there is there is that little bit of segment. It just never really clicked for me. And the hunting was just like... The hunting was just like you activate that tracking mode and you come up on them. Yeah, but you have to like um, hit them in certain areas. Like if you're trying to get a help. Yeah, but but I thought that was pretty stupid because that special pelt is just purely cosmetic. It's not like Far Cry where at some point you feel you feel almost obligated to engage with the special hunts because they get you the ammo upgrades, the holster upgrades and stuff. And in Red Dead, if I'm not mistaken, like 90% of it is cosmetic. You do get a oh. don't you get like a little bit of buffs off some of the legendary stuff, but they're not really worth it. Well, no, it the different skins and stuff is how you get like the uh, like uh if you want a pouch to carry more food or a pouch to carry more. Yeah, but my point my point being a lot of that is it's not as integral to the gameplay as in Far Cry. Like you don't feel that limited if you don't do those upgrades. Like I think I only did one or two upgrades, but I, but I was fine. Oh, I remember that's being that's my point. No, because I think in Far Cry, like you're very limited, and so you have to do these upgrades in order to do, to really get going. But in Red Dead, it felt like you were okay and it was superfluous. The same as like with the camp stuff, like upgrading the camp locations is like basically pointless in Red Dead. Well, it just um, means you can store more stuff. I think it just depends on how. Like, I think I engage with that game different, not different than the way you do. No, no, no. See, I disagree with that argument. I don't think it's about engaging with the game. I think it's about the mechanics of the game so. and the progression of the game encouraging you to engage with those mechanics. And what I'm saying is there is not enough encouragement to for you to engage with those mechanics. So, like, I did that stuff once or twice, but then once I realized that there's, like, two levels. Once I realized I didn't have to do it, and then once I realized that there really wasn't a reward for doing it, enough of a reward for doing it, it became like, oh, so this is pointless. So that's what I mean, is that there's not enough of a drive to engage, to, 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 for the player to be engaged in it. Yeah, I, I, I guess I just don't agree. I need a new level, by the way. Uh, how many randoms? One. One. Mew, congratulations. Yay. Um... But I, there is something fantastic about it. Assassin's Creed Origins. They let you do the hunts slow if you want to, but because they have a fast loot system and because you can shoot and hit from horseback, you can also just ride up on the uh, on the animal, kill them, and immediately loot their stuff, which is great. Because it's like, it's like, hey, if you want to take down the legendary you know, and get the bonus for that area, you can. They're going to take more hits. They're going to be more dangerous. They're probably going to be a couple levels above you. So you got to actually, you know, I, I don't want to say hunt them, but you've got to actually engage in combat with them. But if you're just trying to get leather skins to upgrade your, your quiver, then just, you know, get on horseback. Have your eagle find the deer, run towards the deer, and just quick snipe him with a bow and then run over his corpse and hit Y to pick up the loot. So it's it's great what they've done where they're like they're forcing you to engage in these systems because basically how you upgrade how you upgrade your melee damage your range damage i'm sorry your modifiers your range damage modifier your armor modifier your melee damage modifier your hidden blade modifier etc your quiver size is through those upgrades which are through crafting and how you get the crafting items is from mostly from hunting and they offer like you can do the legendaries which gets you more but they're more challenging but you also get an XP bonus for it, or you can just do the quick hunt from horseback. And I love that variety in it. And, and I think, not to bring it back to Red Dead Redemption 2, but that's something that I think Red Dead Redemption 2 is missing, was that those those upgrades don't feel quite as compulsory, and the hunting wasn't as compelling, and they didn't provide... 
I don't want to say an easy way to do it, but they didn't provide a convenient way to do it. Where you're like, okay, I need to do these. I know that. Let me go do this. Let me get it done. Cool. So it's... There's definitely stuff in Assassin's Creed that is... Is nice. It's kind of weird. It's like playing this and thinking about Red Dead Redemption 2 and other open world games. It's like I'm having a little miniature study of the current state of the open world genre. Like what what mechanics are being taken in different directions by different series. Uh, Stream Mom is asking, what do you think about the new Assassin's Creed setting in Valhalla, oh. which is a Viking setting? A, a sucker for me. I, I don't think I am. Not that I dislike them, but I'm not crazy about them. But I'm actually really interested in... If I'm not mistaken, it takes place in Britain. Which is pretty cool. So it's basically like Vikings v uh, Anglo-Saxons, which which should be pretty, I've been pretty cool. I'm excited for, for that. To return to like medieval times ever since one. Now this is like sort of close to that, and I'm yeah. Because they've done what? One was the Crusades. Two was wasn't that like Renaissance Italy? Three was uh, colonial U.S. Black Flag was, what was that, like 1700s Caribbean or Caribbean? Portugal player is asking, do you mind the dark filter, the haunted house at night? No. If you got a level with that, throw it up. We'll, we'll add it to the list. We'll play anything. Um, the other one was... Okay, wait, so that was Black Flag. What was after that? Then there was Revolutionary France, which I think is an interesting setting, but that game was plagued by such technical and, like, gameplay problems that I just didn't want to touch it. Syndicate in Victorian London is supposed to be really good. I've heard people say that between that and Origins, one of those is the best Assassin's Creed. Oh, that was the point I was going to bring up earlier, is... Seeing you play Origins makes me want to play Origins, but I think I'm just going to save all my open world uses here up. Yeah. That was one of my concerns, was that I may be spending my open world juices on Origins, and then I'll be too tired to play Valhalla, but, but it's a ways away. It's probably going to be December. Plus, uh, I think I'll wait until I have a next-gen console. Nice. Yes. And I'm, I'm still not sure if I'm doing launch, because the thing is the um, Yakuza, the new Yakuza game is actually not, I don't even think it's in 4K on the Series X. So it's it's going to be there on launch, but it's not necessarily going to be a next-gen game. Yeah. No, I, yeah, so I'm, yeah, mostly I would play another open world, but I think Assassin's Creed open world, modern. Oh, yeah. Wow. I actually have um, the Ezio collection with two Brotherhood and Revolution. I heard Brotherhood was really good. Like some of people. Mm -hmm. heard. Okay, I need a random. Um, quick question, though, from Portugal player. Do you know what a safety coin is? Absolutely not. Is that the coin that I bring? Yeah. Jack Attack, congratulations. We're playing Ooh. your level, buddy. So says the randomizer. You always sound like a coach. It is up to like and uh Jack. Oh yeah, buddy, it's your turn. Hey, uh great Get try. Him. Next time, okay? Trophy. After the area yep. 51 raid, Mario raid. Excuse me? The peaches, peaches. Hey, I'm a peach. Boom. I want to know about this peach. It's the last pink coin you should collect in a level to avoid getting a key death 
which is losing all your pink coin progress. What's up, Bubs West? Yo, Bubs, I got your level, boy. In there. I'm supposed to step on your head. Okay, Will, I did it. Oh, I forgot the start. I did it. What'd you do? I ordered a green screen off of AliExpress. Nice. Let's see what happens. Um, so Portugal player says, in my level, there's a safety coin inside a door next to a checkpoint. Gotcha. So you should probably get that safety coin just in case. Creep. Creep is saying, I'm going to play the level ideas and level IDs and try to get the world record before you guys play it. Cool. Go for it, buddy. Go, Creep, go. Hi. I'm Creep. Hey. Actually, I want to do a little poll here. Mario people. What other games do you watch on Twitch that we could be playing? Yeah, what do you guys... Yeah, what do you guys like? What would you like us to play? Not that I hate playing. But is it mostly the allure of having other people play your level? That's what we vote. Bub says Apex Legends. We did play that for a couple weeks. Uh, we, we were kind of playing oh. until we got a... Got a uh, what do they call it? Not a victory royale. Whatever they call it in that game, we got it. We got pretty good at that game. Not like professional level, but we definitely went from bad to, to good. Mario Party. Ooh. Oh, oh boy. Oh no. I mean, we could. We can play it online? Yeah, totally. With, uh, Man, I just. I think we could do it through Parsec because you would control. Controller. No. <laughs> Mario Party, but I'm not playing it on the PC. Oh, no, but you're I'm saying, saying it would do it a different way. way. Yeah. I would just. I just had a real stupid game. idea, which was, if we did it that way, but the controller I was using was actually a bunch of servos, that were surrounding an actual oh. N64 controller. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great? Oh! Apex was pretty Oh, you beat it. Play with that. Great job. Yeah, that was season. The, the point. Our idea with that series was that we were going to pick a Battle Royale game, Thanks, Bob. play it, until we beat it until we get a victory and then move on to a new one. But the truth is, I think we had so much fun playing Apex and getting better at it that we didn't want to move on to anything else. It was a good game. I like that game. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Ugh. Oh my god. I just found this post. I need to read this post to you, okay? This is a post about cars. And it's the picture is the Chevy Cruze factory, which if you remember, I believe the Cruze is no longer being manufactured. So, all caps. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Zoomers will never understand the responsibility of rent or an automobile payment. You pay the interest because you are an adult, and adults drive new cars. Simple as. Keep leeching off mom and dad, living with them and not doing your part to contribute to the economy, you little blank. You are the reason the Chevrolet Cruise plant shut down in my native Ohio. A big F you from the greatest generation of all time. Now that's you wrote, a good You wrote post. that? I did not. I just came across it. Excuse me. I need to screenshot this and put this on Twitter. This is some good content. Right um, uh, first, I need a level. Second, uh, Bubs West asking, how long will the stream be up? You know what? It's up to you. We've been going for an hour 46. Yeah. I was thinking maybe we just finish out the levels. Yeah. Let's, let's stop doing random. We'll finish out the levels. You can keep submitting your levels and we'll put them in the list. So that means up next is another Jack attack. Boom. Um, and after also, that, we got three more levels. What yes. was So Apex, uh -huh. I think we should bring Apex back. And then I also think to figure out a Mario Party. Because that would be fun. Yeah. I think for Apex, that doesn't even need to be a an official stream. I think if we just uh, just get some time together when we want to play it that's good enough right yeah uh ian can you read the uh first three letters of this level code <laughs> um uh no i thought you it's, were pulling a prank on it's me for a six second. jesus crossed nine 69 that's so good <laughs> <laughs> holy crap jack attack save this level 69 69. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe that. Oh, any game world, the beginning might become a series. Calculator. How cute. Wow. Reach the goal of Super Ball Mario. Super Ball Mario. <laughs> I can't believe I found this post. It's so good. I love it. Like, daddy it love it, great. you know? Zoomers will never understand the responsibility of rent or an automobile payment. Isn't Zoomers <laughs> a recently made up term? Yeah, I think it's fake, but it's just hilarious. It's so well done that it's almost like maybe it's not fake. Uh, stream, uh, I've been thinking about getting this game to make some levels. The problem is, knowing myself, I would just up, end up making puzzle levels that are pure torture to play. Stream, Mom, I will play any level you make in this. Absolutely. The other thing is, um, congratulations, everybody makes puzzle levels that are pure torture to play. It feels like there are very few people in this game that know how to make a good level. No offense to people in the chat, but there's such a thing as pacing and build up, and uh, I don't want to say tutorial, but like. Well, what would you what would you call that? Where it's like, hey, here's a mechanic. Now do it a little bit better. Do it a little bit better. Here's an interesting flip on it. Here's another crazy flip on it. Now show that you've perfected it. Now it's the end of the level. I, I, I mean, it is kind of build up, but it's also like introduction. Maybe like exposition, like mechanic, mechanical exposition. I don't know. Hey, you're doing a great job, Bubby. Remember how to pick. Ah, 
I was, uh, when I was testing out my mister, I was... My... Oh. Good for you. Little Timmy. Oh, look at that. I can't believe I did that in one shot. Little Timmy, enter. Please don't be born. Please don't be born. Not born yet. They call the SWAT <laughs> team on you. Garbo, as in garbage. Enemy spam Kaizo blocks after every jump. Darn it. No, I only have 90 attack. Oh! oh I can't believe I did that. Oh, there's another one? Curse you! Seven seconds. Wait, me out. Yeah, I think they're like, like I'm looking at one video and it's where like you come out of a pipe and you fall down and there's spike blocks underneath you. So it's like gotcha stuff. Hey, I did it. A good level. Next that. up, we've got another Mew level. Yay, Mew. Congratulations to Mew. That's what I like about Mew. Jack Attack, I am talking about your... Am I talking about your level? Who's talking about you? Or are you? I don't think Stream Mom was talking about this level. They were talking about Little Timmy level, which is mm -hmm. kids who just dumb kids. Hi, Little dumb I'm kids. A dumb kid. Okay, red spike top hold jump. Boost. Don't hold. Be. I don't. Red hole. I already. Also, be like triple bounce. Oh. Hi. Hi. Do 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 do. Ah, 
I held the button. Ah. Thank you, Mew. Oh, level some. I like it. Exit. Stage left, even. Uh, next level. Next level. Even. Next up is Portugal player. Portugal player seven. Poor, poor, poor Portugal player. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Eight. Six. Hi. MG6, Metal Gear 6. Puzzle solving. Haunted Paul's comments. Oh, let me comment on. No problem, you. I'll play your levels any day. Please don't comment on this level unless you gave up already, didn't you? No, it said comments on. No! Daddy, it said comments on. Hey, hey just because it's uh, towards the end of the stream, we're running out of things to talk about. I just signed up for... HBO Max, because I already have HBO, which is $15 a month. HBO Max is $15 a month. It's HBO plus additional stuff. It launches at the end of this month. And right now they're, they're throwing a promotion where you can only pay, for the first year, you only pay $12 a month. Top of the 50. And it's, no, 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 just $12. So it's $15 a month for HBO right now. HBO Max starts at the end of the month. HBO Max is also only $15. It's all the HBO content plus additional content, like some anime, some friends, some uh, individual shows, like original shows. So it's like, okay, well, if you're on HBO, you might as well go to HBO Max because it's the same thing, just more stuff, same money. And then they're running a promotion right now where if you sign up, you get the first year for only... $12 a month. So you're basically saving $36 over the year. And I was like, okay, so I so I just signed up for it. It just makes sense. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I already paid. Yeah. I HBO with me is like an off, on again, off again thing where I basically, I, I pay for it for like six months. I binge a whole bunch of stuff. And then when I feel like I'm not really getting enough value out of it, then I cancel it for like three or four years. And then I come back for like six months and I binge a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like, like I caught up on True Detective season three and now I'm going to watch Barry and I watched Watchmen and all this stuff. And it, I missed it because I didn't have HBO at the time. But now that I have it, it's worth the $15 a month because I have so much to watch. So yeah. Anyways, good stuff. I think I'll sign up for that. And I can see what the other yeah they just announced they're gonna add some uh what's it called uh some anime series from crunchyroll with some other stuff as well oh. what the, uh what's this thing going again oh, it, okay just so i can grab it instead of getting one of the last coins I'm looking it up. They say don't catch the pink coin inside the door until the end. I'm looking it up. I'm going, no. I'm going back to what they said it was. No, no, I know what they said it was, but I'm, 
I'm trying to understand. It's there, so in case I forgot one coin, I can grab that one. Yes, I believe so. It's the last pink coin you should collect in a level to avoid getting a key death, which is losing all your pink coin progress. What does my progress get? I don't know, man. Y'all, y'all too complex for us. Oh, you know what I forgot to do today? Forgot to sell my turnips. Oh, well. Oh. I haven't played Animal Crossing in like a week, so I guess I just lose 200,000 bells, but so what? Time for two. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm completely done playing that game. It is def definitely now a once a week game for me, so. Yeah, I'm like every... I'm, I'm like building up my rooms now. Like, I got a good wall that really inspired me to attic out. Mm -hmm. I think what's really frustrating for me is like, I've been building out my rooms, but there's like pieces that I know exist that I want to put in my room. And now it's just like, well, I guess I have to either find somebody who already has it and get them to buy it for me, or I just have to wait for it to show up in my store. Yeah. You know? And that's mostly what my and daily is. Frustrating. Like yeah, I'm just too lazy to do that. So every time you find a pink coin, you can save it in a checkpoint. Oh, see, I didn't know you could. That makes much more sense. Oh, oh, you goofed it. I'm in a, uh, like, I'm gonna pitch this out to both video games and movies and TV shows. I'm, I'm in a huge mood, like, detective, like, stuff. I, I, I uh -huh. played the, sh we watched the Sherlock Holmes movies, and I played the game. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Which Sherlock Holmes movies did you watch? Those are not mystery movies, though. I didn't say they were mystery movies, did I? That I watched them. And so now uh, I'm in the mood you know, for, like, a proper mystery movie or a game okay. or, like, like detective stuff. So, uh, Knife's, Knife's Out is interesting. I wasn't a big fan of it, but it was at least I, I, interesting. It's also not that great of a thing. It, like... Oh, yeah, definitely not. Um, Have you watched uh, Murder on the Orient Express, the original? No, we were downloading the new one to watch, but I think that might watch. Oh. Uh, yeah, I would. I, I haven't seen the new one, but I would recommend the original just because the reviews of the new one basically said it's very similar to the original and they didn't really need to remake it. And it doesn't do enough to justify it being new. So at that point, it's like, well, might as well watch the old one because the old one still holds up. I'm trying to think of other good mystery ones. Clue, uh, but Clue is more of just a goof. Yeah, I think I'm going to read, like, I was trying to get my Sherlock Holmes books from my parents, but they couldn't find them. Uh, I think I've, I think my time. Have you seen True Detective? Detective? I've seen season one, but I wanted to show Karen season two and three. Yeah, two, two isn't less of a mystery, but it at least has the vibes. Three does a really good job of being a That's mystery. That's basically it. Um, okay, trying to think last about levels. Things. Mm-hmm. Portugal player. Portugal player. That was a cool level. I think I might uh pick that back up off camera and try to Those levels always when I'm trying to stream and I'm trying to talk, I just can't think. But I did like it. Did you see Detective Pikachu? No. That was a good that was actually pretty good. And it is a good mystery movie too. 
Uh, have you ever read uh, And Then There Were None? Agatha Christie? No. Um, I recommend... If you haven't read it, you should read it, but I recommend the movie, old black and white movie, is really good. And then there were none. I'll add it to my list. Real good. Also goes by a uh, pretty racist, or a racist name, and then an extremely racist um, was the original title. Movie <laughs> from 1945. It probably. That must be it. God. Chinatown. If you haven't seen Chinatown, Chinatown's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I need to see Chinatown. We, we talked about Hail Seven. Season. Yeah. You've probably seen Seven. Yes, I've seen it. Seven's good. Zodiac, you know, I'm not as crazy a fan about Zodiac as, as most people are. I think it's good. Just some people act like it's the best movie ever made. I kind of wish that. it had an ending. Yes, exactly. Or or at least that it like made more of a statement about there not being an ending. Yeah. But instead, it's just like this compelling mystery that just kind of peters out. Yeah, like I wish he just made it up. Yeah. But uh, it was good. I don't, I'm not as crazy about it as other people are, but it's still pretty good. Just, Rear um, window. Got this. Will I beat it so you can? Yeah, right. Although you know what is a great mystery it. movie? And I watched it recently. Uh, again, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Such a fantastic movie. That is Like perches. This is wall jump off the question mark uh, box. Uh, hey. Great job. Stupid boy. Specifically this one. You gotta ground pound the seesaw, you goober. Did ground pound the seesaw. Sorry, I just I was not paying attention for several minutes and I thought it would be appropriate for me to yell the latest chat message. Thanks. I love when you don't pay attention. I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't catch it. Uh, don't, oh, you stupid idiot. That was a dumb thing. You did it. You beat the game.
You know what movie I need to watch? What movie? Avatar The Last Airbender. Never seen it. But I think I'm going to watch it after I watch the, the show. I watch some of the show when I'm I'm pretty sure it's coming to Netflix at the end of this month. Let me have it in my calendar. Let me look it up. Oh, this Thursday it comes to US. I'm sorry, next next Friday it comes to US Netflix. Um, Creep says before the stream ends, you should go into World Maker and play the baseball mini game. It's fun and it will help to be good at it for my world I'm making. So Creep, is that a level code or is that a I think I have to World go into the baseball. creator. Yeah, stream on my notes. That movie's bad, and that makes me want to watch it. <laughs> Who doesn't like M, M. Night Shyamalan? Oh, oh. Gosh darn it, I hit this. I'm excited to watch Avatar. I hadn't, I, the, the series. I never watched it, so I'm ready. Next Friday. Yeah, I watched a bit of it uh, when it aired. I, I want to say I caught like 45% of the episodes. I don't think there's a lot of episodes. There's probably only like 30, 40 episodes, right? Yeah, there's... Look it up. And then there's, a, there's another show, right? One where they're like... There's 61 episodes... Uh, Legend of Korra. Yeah, that's the end. Oh my god. Stream Mom says... The movie intentionally mispronounces the main character's name. Wait, how do they pronounce it? Aang. Oh man, that's that's weird. That's my last try, folks. Ian, you want to do a little outro? Um, no. Let's let's do the outro after the baseball mini. Oh, right. Young, get over here, I young. We gotta go oh. save the world, I young. Avatar, the last airbender. Um, good level, bub. Sorry, I'm bad. I just hate what Mario Bros. You don't like, don't like the other. like flat boy. Like flat. Okay, where am I going? World Maker. I okay, so in the in it's Ang in the cartoon ang and in the movie they say ung it's ung in the movie how do we Here we go. Okay, here we go. Baseball here mini game. Go. Catch in. Oh. 
This is cool. Oh. <laughs> what did <it> walk? <laughs> huh? Did you see that? I did. That was disturbing. That was so gross. Oh, I hate tall Mario. It's disgusting. Oh boy. This is like uh, Winnie the Pooh's home run derby. Oh. <laughs> God, that's terrifying. <laughs> I want to see what happens if I get it right. Here we go. Mini game is so done. So you got to go through all ten without getting three strikes. Yeah. I've gotten the three strikes on the tenth one. Both times. Mm. Hey, you're good now, right? Five up! Oh my god. Stream Mom says they mispronounced it in the movie because that's how the director thought they should have actually been pronouncing it. Oh, oh. oh my god. Great job. Well, well how about folks, you outro us? Thank you for watching this here stream. Uh, I have been Will. Ian has joined me. Um, we are Subpixel. If you go to subpixelfilms.com, Go to our straight to our YouTube channel and check out all sorts of fun stuff we have there. We have a couple documentaries. We have videos that are posted weekly. We stream Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Check us out. Our next stream will probably I'll probably do something Monday. I'm gonna play some Star Wars stuff or some Mister stuff. Really not sure what I'm gonna do, but Monday around 2 p.m. I'll probably be streaming on Twitch and Mixer. Uh, Ian has joined us tonight. That is, he is at Think Gibson on Twitter if you want to follow him. I'm at Hunt270 on Twitter, at Subpixel Team on Twitter if you want to find Subpixel. Until then, folks, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Don't forget the love and passion. Um, Bubs West, I have found a new fave streamer today. Hey, DM me on Twitter who this new streamer is. I would love to. Um, until next time, thank you for watching. <laughs> I will have a great night, probably. Ian, I hope you have a great night, too. Bubs, thank yeah. you. Stream Mom, thank you. Creep, thank you. Mew, thank you. Jack Attack, thank you. And uh, the new journey, that level, thank you. And everyone else, Mr. Coffee Crisp, thank you. You know what? 